All right, mic check. One, two, three, four. Father, thank you for this day. Thank you, Father, for this day. In the name of Jesus, I lift up this recording to you, and I ask that you bless this seed being sown. Holy Spirit, guide me as I read. Father, thank you for your word. In the name of Jesus, I pray for knowledge, understanding, and wisdom as I feed on the bread from heaven, your word, the mirror. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. So we're reading Psalms out of um, the Septuagint version. In the name of Jesus, Father, thank you for your word. Amen. Thank you for the life proceeding forth out of these vocal cords, healing frequencies. Amen. Psalm 1 out of the Septuagint. I might go on to 3. We'll see. Well, let's see how much time I got on this. Okay, blessed. Uh, I'll do one. Blessed is the man who has not walked in the counsel of the ungodly, and has not stood in the way of sinners, and has not sat in the seat of evil men. But his pleasure is in the law of the Lord, and in his law will he meditate day and night. And he shall be as a tree planted by the brooks of waters. He shall yield his fruit in his season, and his leaf shall not fall off. And whatsoever he shall do shall be prospered. Not so the ungodly, not so, but rather as the chaff which the wind scatters away from the face of the earth, therefore the ungodly shall not rise in judgment, nor the sinners in the counsel of the just. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Okay, I'm just going to read Psalm 1 out of the Septuagint. God willing, later we'll read more. But I give you thanks, Father, that I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, and he is greater in me than Satan that's in the world. Amen. I am more than a conqueror over every circumstance and situation through Christ Jesus. Amen. My God is greater. My God is stronger. My God is higher than any other. Amen. Thank you, Father, for this day. Lord, help us because we all, most of us, end up taking the path of least resistance. All we as sheep have wandered away. Enticed by the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life Caught up by the mark of the beast Triple six, triple F The acronyms, my perspective, definition Fully focused on the flesh Down to the gates of self Upon that plane of exalted hell That presents less and less than expected Never ending cycle of shame Pointless pain, bitter frustration Condemned and, and in un- 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 <laughs> Condemned an uninhabited region in the dark Which on stretched out reaching around for something to touch Feeling for any hint of life Seeking any glimpse of light Mirror. Eyes adjusting to demons lurking and seeking to torture your soul Don't perish without the Lord's presence And end up in hell eternally burning and yearning For another chance in hell to be converted That's not the Lord's will Let's read that again Father, thank you. In the name of Jesus, what's your cause? If you don't have one, Jesus pleads it. Our advocate, in the name of, amen. The Lord is my advocate. He pleads my cause. The Lord is my, my deliverer, amen. We all take the path of least resistance and, and we all as sheep have wandered away enticed by the lust of the flesh the lust of the eyes and the pride of life caught up by the mark of the beast triple six triple f the acronyms my perspective fully focused on the flesh down to the gates of self upon that plane of exalted hell that presents less and less than expected never ending cycle of shame pointless pain bitter frustration condemned an un- uninhabited region in the dark with your arms stretched out reaching around for something to touch feeling for any hint of life seeking any glimpse of light I- eyes adjusting and the dark to demons lurking and seeking to torture your soul don't perish without the lord's presence and end up eternally burning and yearning for another chance in hell to be converted lord thank you for the fact that you are in control and that all things are working together for good for your name's sake thank you first john 3 1 says see how much how very much our father loves us for he calls us his children and that is what we are thank you father for this day thank you for your word um, help us to grow spiritually, Father, and mature in Christ. Help us to manage this magnificent inheritance.
gifts, the abundant life that Jesus died, that, that he suffered and died to give. Amen.